let us discuss today half subtractor half subtractor is a combinational circuit we can see here block diagram of half subtractor which is having two inputs a and b and the two outputs are generated uh, one is a difference uh, called the d bit and the another is a borrow which is called the b bit uh, now how half, half subtractor works we we can uh, understand it by one of the example if you want to suppose the two binary numbers uh, suppose we want to subtract the um, 2 from the 3 this is uh, decimal and in binary it will be the 1 1 minus uh, 1 0 now uh, what is the job of half subtractor to subtract this bit this is called the LSB bit so that these two bits half subtractor will subtract so that 1 minus 0 is 1 and uh, this operation half subtractor will perform uh, now uh, and um, suppose if you want to subtract the MSB bits uh, we will uh, require the full subtractor because borrow may be uh, there and uh, so that it will become 3 bits and for 3 bits we will require the full subtractor so that uh, half subtractor is used only to subtract the LSB bits now the um, uh, we will understand the uh, working of half subtractor by deriving the, deriving the truth table for half subtractor we can see in from the block diagram it is having a 2 bits so that the 2 to the power 2 that means 2 raised to 2 will be the 4 possible input combinations are there uh, so that we um, we have already written this 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 now we will um, derive the uh, truth table uh, so that uh, when we subtract uh, first case is 0 uh, minus 0 so that when we subtract the uh, 0 from the 0 then the difference is 0 so that the d is 0 and the borrow here there is a no any borrow have taken so that borrow is also 0 when the difference is 0 borrow is 0 when we want to subtract now we are taking the um, third case directly uh, so that the we want to subtract the uh, 0 from the 1 uh, so that here uh, here is also uh, difference is 1 and the borrow is 0 here also no borrow has taken now um, now fourth case uh, we, we want to subtract the 1 from 1 in this case difference is 0 and borrow uh, will be here also no bo borrow is taken so that the, this will be the 0 0 now when the case for the 1 and 0 difference is 1 and the borrow is 0 from this and now the uh, second case in which we want to subtract the um, 1 from the 0 so that the, uh, we are subtracting the 1 from the 0 here uh, we can see that the uh, 0 is uh, 1 is greater than 0 uh, so that we can't uh, subtract the uh, 1 directly from the 0 so that we need borrow here so that we will take the borrow from the next stage and this will become 1 0 which will be uh, in decimal it will be 2 so that the 2 minus 1 is 1 so that the difference is 1 and here we have taken borrow so that the borrow bit will get set so that this is nothing but the 1 1 now from the truth table we get that the uh, when the a that means a bit is greater than or approximately equal to b then the b bit will be the borrow bit will be the 0 and when a becomes less than b then only the borrow bit becomes 1. Now we will derive the SOP expressions for the outputs uh, d and b so that the SOP expression for uh, d and b for d uh, for d bit. Um, uh, we will write the uh, I mean term for those uh, input combination for which the uh, output bits are set so that here the output bit d is 1 so that the input combination is 0 and 1 so that we will write the a complement b plus here also the input uh, output is 1 so that input combination is 1 0 uh, which is a b bar now this is the SOP expression for d bit now for b bit we will write and it is nothing but the a bar b plus a b bar is nothing but the a x or b now for b bit uh, the output uh, 1 is uh, output is 1 when the input is a a is 0 and the b is 1 so that it will be the a bar b now here the difference output of the half subtractor is a x or b which is same as the sum output of the half adder Now we will draw the logic diagram for half subtractor uh, by using XOR gate also and by using the AOI logic also we will draw the uh, logic diagram. 
Now for this expression we will draw the logic diagram so that here um, A x or B is there so that we will use the uh, one of the x or gate and uh, inputs to the x or gate are the A and B. So at the one input is A and the other is B and at the output we get A x or B now um, which is nothing but the D difference and uh, another uh, output is the uh, B. Uh, which is borrow and uh, which is nothing but the a bar b so uh, to take the complement of a we will use one of the not gate and uh, we want to uh, perform the and operation of the a bar b so that we will use one of the and and gate here and uh, so that at the output we get a bar b and which is nothing but the borrow so this is the logic diagram of half adder uh, sorry, logic diagram of half subtractor. Now this is we have uh, drawn using the uh, XOR gate. Now we will uh, draw this by using the uh, AOI logic that means AND OR and NOT gates we will use to draw the uh, logic diagram for half subtractor. Now this uh, expression we will use A bar B plus AB bar. Now um, we will take here the two inputs. Uh, one is A and another is B so that uh, first we want to perform the A bar B so that uh, here we will use one of the NOT gate and B input as it is we will use and here the uh, we want to perform the AND so that AND gate is there now then the we will uh, we want to uh, perform the A B bar so that A we will take as it is and uh, to do B bar we will use another NOT gate and uh, again a, a b bar so we will use a, again and gate and now um, we want to add the a bar b and a b bar this is a bar b and this is a b bar now here the addition is there that means we will use the or gate here so that here the uh, difference output is uh, generated and which is the a bar b plus a b bar now uh, the next output is the b which is the borrow and which is the a bar b uh, so that uh, here we will uh, write the b which is a bar b and in this way we have drawn the logic diagram of half subtractor and uh, if the videos are useful to you please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you